like you're like my official like DJ on the side with the yay when I come on. I love it. I love it. And congrats on first and welcome in Raiders. Lista, you did your first raid. Oh my goodness. Yay. Um, let's see. Did we do a shout out? We'll do a shout out for Purple Calla Lily. Purple Calla Lily. Okay, if you guys aren't following, that is Monica's account and her, Lista, you're her niece, right? Lista, her niece, I think I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, was streaming earlier on her account and it was so much fun. So much fun. Oh my gosh. Love it. You did so amazing, Lista. It was so amazing. So good. So good. So guys, it's Friday or Saturday. It might be Saturday for you, but for a lot of us, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Yay. I'm so excited. I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, it was so fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope we see you pop up over there some more. Anku, thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. Aria, I have not had a chance to get to the post office yet because I work during the day. Stretch and breathe. <sighs> Whew, I need I need all the breaths and everything today. I had I had a dirty chai from Starbucks today and it had two shots of espresso and I hadn't eaten yet and it was a big mistake and I've been like the last like hour or so it's like made me so jittery and when it does that it kind of like gives me anxiety because it like mimics how anxiety feels so I'm not actually anxious but my body is very jittery so we're gonna try to have really calm chill vibes tonight so I can like regulate my nervous system because I'm like jittery um and i would like the jittery to go away <laughs> so we're gonna have all the breaths all the chill we're gonna listen to some chill lo-fi we're gonna do some <laughs> and then bast comes in with the chaos <laughs> oh my goodness so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to chill it out so i i don't like jitter away um okay let's see i'm missing missing all all kinds of stuff wisteria you need some decades yeah we're gonna do we're gonna try to do a really solid prep day today because the thing that's been holding me up on decades is like i need stuff for the next like era and i've been putting it off and i was like you know what we're gonna bite the bullet today and we're just gonna chip away at it we're gonna add some stuff to brightchester that we need for wyatt at university i've got some ideas i'm mostly set up for eli and lucy's storyline if we have time there's a little bit more i want to set up for them with like the music stuff um but i just need to get it done because i want to get back into the gameplay and i've just been i've just been putting it off because it feels like it's like so much work that needs to be done but when we created the whole save file together it was a lot of fun so i've decided I, we're gonna do it together because then you guys help with the storylines and stuff so we're just gonna have like some chill vibes getting set up for the gilded age today rose welcome in welcome in how are you happy weekend rose how are you doing did you see did you see me and d sims in discord today rose <laughs> we're we, we're coming to australia we're we're gonna do a, a community getaway <laughs> i was like why do movie night let's just take a vacation uh, if only if only maybe one day i'll have enough credit card points to book a flight <laughs> Yeah, check the chit chat channel. I tagged you. We were being a little bit ridiculous today in Discord. But anyways, anyways. Oh my gosh. Does anybody have any speaking of the weekend? Anybody have any like exciting fun plans this weekend? I'm going to a concert tomorrow night after stream. I think. I think I'm gonna go. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm gonna see how I'm feeling tomorrow, but I've got a ticket. Um, Anku, you're gonna try to stream the 18th for a birthday stream, but if you're not able to, you'll be chilling in mama's. Oh my gosh. 
Um, that is exciting, Anku. Definitely post, um, if you do, like for sure post in the self promo, because that's how I see you guys are on a lot of times is like, I actually see it in discord before I see it in, um, what you call it in Twitch, because I don't turn notifications on on anything, but I've always got discord open and that discord's the only thing I've got notifications on. Uh, Mysterio, one day you'll go to Australia, but you would never fly over the ocean. I have flown over the Gulf of Mexico, but I have never flown over like an expanse as big as like going to Europe or like going to Australia. I've gone to Colombia, but that was like literally a three hour flight for me. It was like not that bad. So I I feel like I'm more nervous about just like being on a plane for 10 hours or like 12 plus hours than I am like, it does make me a little nervous to fly over that much water, but I just feel like that would be so uncomfortable on a plane for that long. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. Mel, how are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Aria, you're waiting for your birthday. Oh, Mean Girls Day, October 3rd. October 3rd, is that your birthday? That was my grandma's anniversary. I think, isn't that what's referred to as Mean Girls Day? Um, exciting. Happy belated birthday, because I don't know if I knew that. I can't remember. Were you here hanging out on your birthday? It's been so long now, but I missed it. I know it was many months ago, but happy belated birthday anyway. I feel like you might have been here. Oh, you weren't. Okay, you weren't in here yet. That was right before we started the new Wild West decades. We were probably building for it around that time. And then we started gameplay, I think, mid-October, which I was thinking about. I was like, guys, I started gameplay for the series mid-October. And I'm like barely starting Generation 2. So I want to try to speed things up. That was like another reason why I was like, let's just focus on the prep stuff that we need to do so I can like get this moving along i'm such a slow game player that's just how i am because i want to get so into their personalities and like every sim story but then it makes it drag so long we're going to be like a year later still on gen 2 so i want to try to try to find a balance between still telling the story but like playing a little bit faster so we'll see if i can find that balance um amanda you've never been on a plane before Ooh, i know a lot of people who haven't been on planes before Wisteria, you go, you fly five hours every summer. I feel like the longest flight I think I've ever been on is maybe like four to four and a half flying from like Houston New York, to New York. I used to be obsessed with New York City and I've gone like five or six times. That's the longest flight I've ever been on. And I almost always do nonstop if I can, because I can't stand switching at an airport. Because honestly, just like being at an airport really stresses me out. Um, so I try to make it as like seamless as possible. Uh, are you think you came in around December? That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Cool cat mom. The plane ride to Australia wasn't bad. You just slept. Okay. That's good. That's, that's reassuring. It's reassuring. Has anyone ever flown to Hawaii from like the, from the U S isn't that like an 11 or 12 hour flight? Um, I've never, I've never done that either. Anku took a flight last summer, Seattle to Alaska. Oh my gosh, you went to Alaska, Anku? I'm so jealous. I've always wanted to go to Alaska. I will one day, I will for sure. And I really wanna go to Iceland. I had a friend took a trip to Iceland. Oh my gosh, it was like so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Um, Let's see. Rose, so then when you fly 16 plus hours, you'll be okay. Let's see, I'm missing a bunch of stuff because there's a lot of back and forth. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna try to catch up. Yeah, Iceland, it, I think I like, oh, it was like so beautiful. And when they were there, it was like only dark for like two, three hours every night. It was like mostly daytime and like almost always like a sunrise or a sunset. It was like so beautiful. Can visit Kyler, let's all take a trip to Alaska <laughs> and IRL raid Kyler. Um, you flew to Texas to meet friends. I used to, I grew up in Texas almost my whole life. So that's fun. Um, 
try that in winter though nighttime for 20 yeah i think they have like both extremes right like almost all hours daytime and then almost all hours night that would be so hard i i will i want to meet someone and like ask them what that's like like l living somewhere where it's nighttime for that long because like my seasonal depression is already very difficult i don't know if i could do it that would be tough Oh, Brandy, you've flown to London. Oh my goodness. I want to go to like that area. I just want to go everywhere in Europe. Um, I'm going to turn some lo-fi music on. Fingers crossed that my internet doesn't do the thing it did the other day when I started music and go crazy. Um, but we'll we'll try it. I'm going to put some chill, chill tunes. And I'm going to switch over because we can just keep chatting while we figure out what we're going to be. I don't really want to build from scratch. So I want to see like what's on the gallery. We might create some Sims uh, for the story and all of that kind of stuff. Turn into a travel vlogger. Then you'll get paid to travel. That is the dream. That is the dream. Beth, you guys flew to Ireland for your honeymoon and they're the nicest people you've ever met, even on the plane. They made you guys comfy. I know um, a lady, she was a client for the lady I work for. Um, I think her like um, ancestry was from Ireland and she, her, she moved, like she asked like young kids, they a couple months ago or like maybe a year at this point, they moved to Ireland and I'm like so happy for her. Like it must be so cool. And then the lady I used to work for a few years back, she almost moved to London with her husband. They thought about it. They took like a trip for like a month just to try it out. And then they decided they like missed their friends and family like too much. So they decided not to do it. But I've always wanted to do something like that because I like being places longer than just a vacation. So you can like fully immerse yourself. Claire's here. Hi, Claire. Aria, you've, uh, you're have you mostly Scottish. That's so cool. My family's mostly French Canadian. And then we have a little bit of um, Spanish from Spain. So like my grandma's last name, her maiden name was Sanchez from Spain. So that her line, like they look very Spanish. And then most of my family, because I was born in Louisiana, they're like my ancestors are from Nova Scotia. So it's like French Canadian. And I'm mostly like very like not a lot of stuff mixed in. There's some Choctaw Indian from Louisiana. My great my great grandma's grandma. So however far back that is or no, my great grandma's mom was 100 percent Choctaw Indian in Louisiana. Andrew, you're French Canadian with English, Polish, and a little bit of Irish and Norwegian and Swedish. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. My best friend's dad is um, from Scotland. So she is like 50%, I guess, is what that makes you, I guess. So she's got like Scottish heritage. And she's just started learning a lot about her ancestry. So we've been talking about it a lot. It's just, oh, it's such a beautiful culture. Um, let's see, Anku, you're definitely trying to notify when you start streaming. If you do on the 18th, tend to stream. Oh yeah, you do stream earlier in the day. Sometimes I miss you guys when you're earlier in the day. It just depends on what I've got going on with work. Um, but I try to catch them. So hopefully I'll make a little note on my calendar to check in that day. Um, it's so fun hearing what your guys' um, like heritage is. Brandy, you really want to go to Ireland? Me too. I actually think I'm going to take a trip at some point. I've been like accruing credit card points. I don't have like a ton, ton, ton yet, but I've got like, I feel like just over a thousand dollars. And if I shop good deals, I want to try to take a trip to the UK this year if I can. And if not this year, then hopefully early next so I started looking up some flights and stuff. Okay, where are we going to start? I think I'm going to go to the Bright Chester World map. Let's see. So I'd already put down two 
like kind of Victorian style houses on these two lots here in the middle. I like the library lot we put in. The problem is with this world, I'm using home regions with mod, which keeps your your Sims from like traveling to other worlds, which is great for like historical gameplay and like just keeping Sims where they're supposed to be. The problem with it here at university though, is the only Sims in this world are um, like the few Sims, uh, Wyatt and his two roommates. We had added the two female Sims. I like rage quit because I couldn't get them transferred in the right household. I haven't fixed that yet. That I will say for another time because I don't want to get frustrated again. But what I want is like a wealthy family that lives here that Wyatt gets connected to. That's maybe who like gives him some like work opportunities. I also was looking up in history, the year that we're currently in is the same year the first college newspaper came out at Yale. And Wyatt likes to write. So we're gonna say that Wyatt is who created the first college newspaper i don't know if i need to set anything up for that like he has the library with typewriters and stuff i don't know does he need like a club with like that he leads maybe i don't know i just um we are in 1878 um we are in 1878 now let me check my screen i'll just put it on the screen, even though we're building, we're in 1878. And I looked up the other day, the Gilded Age, when was the Gilded Age? The Gilded Age is the period from about the, the 1870s to the late 1890s. So for like the next two decades, we're kind of in the Gilded Age. So we'll probably set up for that. And then we won't have to really change a whole lot, probably until closer to the turn of the century. We might start adding a few more like technological advances throughout the late 1890s because things did kind of change fashion kind of starts to change we can start to get more edwardian going into the turn of the century Wyatt is your special boy he's so wonderful i love him oh no lista are you in here you in your stream we all do that oh my gosh did you make okay first let me start let me go to the gallery and see what you guys have created under my hashtag gallery cosmic hip hippie townies did you tag them aria um are these them is this you are you half blood 1971 i don't know but there's a couple new ones here um, a protection charm with crystals. I have not done anything with crystal creations yet other than swoon over the build by. <laughs> you turned it off. Amazing. Would be fun to see Wyatt befriend or become a ward McAllister character. Um, is that the guy? Is that the guy on the Gilded Age? That's like besties with, um, What's her name? Aster. Is that is that the right character? That's McAllister, isn't it? I'm only on, I just started season two. I just started season two of the Gilded Age. Um, Aria, you're confused. Andrew had a busy day, had to wait for your brother to be done with speech therapy because your mom was at the doctor. So you're glad to be chilling. Yeah, we're doing a chill night. Chill, chill, chill. We're gonna... Oh, you uploaded them twice by accident? Oh, I think I meant to say GM Scott. Is, it, is this you, GM Scott? Aria, I, I was thinking you said you made Sims, but was that GM Scott? Or maybe, I don't know, whatever. Whose Sims are these? Who's Half-Blood? Raise your hand. <laughs> McAllister is the go-between Miss Astor and the Russells. Perfect. Thanks, Rose. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, I know they're real life. Actually, hold on. Look, 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 look. Speaking of, hold on. I haven't read this yet, but I was so inspired. I got this book. 
It's a biography. Auto, it's a the rise and fall of an American fortune. Aster. It's written by Anderson Cooper. Um. So I want to read this, or at least read like through it a little bit. So it was like I was like shopping this like random book website that has like discounted books, and I saw that, and I was like gonna get that <laughs> so i've got to do some reading up on on mrs astor from irl because right now all that i know is just from the gilded age show and i don't know like you know it's a historical fiction based like with based on real stuff so i don't know how like true to it they say i don't know beth is he is he a descendant of the astors or vanderbilt it says it just says number one New York Times bestselling authors of Vanderbilt. So that could be true. I don't actually know. So Anderson, this is so fun. I'm like so obsessed with history. So Anderson is a descendant of the Vanderbilt family who the Russells are based on. I thought the Russells were based on the Vanderbilts. That's what I thought. I'm curious. I bet they did a fictional name for them because they probably swayed a bit like a lot like a bit more from their true story but kept like the Astros same I wonder why they went f with, with with a fictional name for them instead um do you know that Rose have you watched any of the like making of and they explain why why they didn't just call them the Vanderbilt since they did other real life names um my guess is that they just swayed from the true people more so okay let me look at these families Magnus is a successful businessman who owns and operates Caps and Co. with the Marathi family. His son, Dean, is engaged to Camilla, the granddaughter of the very successful matriarch, Holly Casey, whose family is the descendants of the late Carter Casey, the inventor of the Casey cases. I love this. The world-renowned luggage company. The engagement was arraigned by Mr. Caps after he had learned of his son's college... What is this? D D I don't know this word. <laughs> something. His college something with his business partners. Married son, Moses. Ooh, family drama. Okay, so what are, how many Sims do we have? So we have... Uh, it oh, Magnus is right here. Magnus. Dean. Oh, they have a pup. Kipper. Camille. Okay, so is who's engaged? Dean is engaged to um, Camille. And then here's Holly and Weston. Okay. Just a very rich family. Oh, I left out the cat. Toonses? Is it, oh, is it Toonses? Um, all the ducks. It's a deep dive. On the PC. Now, which you never do. I always watch on my PC. They look kind of snobby. That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay. And then we have... Um, oh, hold on. The Marathi, they were mentioned in this description. Oh, they run the business. That's so cool. That's so fun. This family runs the business with this family. Oh my God. I never would have thought to make like two separate families that have like a crossover. I love that. So they have Moses, uh, Marin. Is that how I say it? Maida, Maha, Alejandra, Alonso. Oh, I love it. I love that they're connected. And then there's another family. Oh, these are the ones I think you said got uploaded. No, 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 no. These are different Sims. These are different Sims. Aiden, is it Bo? Aiden Bo grew up on a farm, farm extremely poor. After his parents passed, the farm was left to him and his wife, who passed shortly after, along with his two young kids. After the passing of his wife, taking care of both the farm and kids full-time became too much. The Sandoval Oil Company was interested and offered to buy the land. Ooh, we love that, don't we? You're like, you're on oil-rich land. Always, I love that storyline. Uh, so the oil company was interested and offered to buy the land. He cut a deal to sell the land only if he also got a cut of the profit from the oil drilling, making them wealthy overnight. Yeah, we love that for you guys. We have Alina, Quentin, Aiden, Garrett, and Jocelyn and baby Jarrett. And they're cat princess. 
those are the ones um you re-upload it um Chancy is the driving cat from Saturday Night Live. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have known that. Um, Emily, you just got done watching The Artful Dodger and it's set in the 1850s. Ooh, did you, was there anything like that really stuck out from the time period that we could do in gameplay? Um, I kind of feel like this oil family, it would be fun that um, Wyatt might connect with them because they also like they're th like we basically have new and old money. So these guys are new, like new wealth. And I'm going to say these guys are like old wealth, like they're from a family, like they're from families of um, like they've had a successful business for a while. So I want to decide, OK. We were saying one of these houses was boss hogs, but I kind of want to make these like kind of matching side by side houses, the two families that run the business together. And then I might put the new money family. The problem is like these houses actually don't have a lot of bedrooms and stuff. And it's fine when you're not actually playing the Sims. It's like not that big of a deal. Um... But if I place them, then they'll at least like populate in the world and then I can deal with the builds later. Rose, off subject and unrelated to decades, but it's mind blowing. The Australian football team you follow was established only four years earlier in this save 1874 and they are still playing. That actually really puts it in perspective, Rose, right? Like how long it's been around, like from the time period that we're playing. That's wild. The daughter of the new money family married the son of the oil tycoon who bought the original land. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the, I'm not going to worry about the, hold on, how do I get back to where I was? Um, so I want to put these two like families that work together. I know technically one of these from storytelling was like Boss Hawk's place, but I might put another build on this one that's an empty lot right now. But I think it would be funny if these two live in like side by side because they're so interrelated. Um, so that'll give us a lot more Sims. Oh, God, which one did I just place? Okay, I placed the caps. So I need the Marathi. I also like putting you guys as Sim because it's fun to meet them in game because then I don't know them. Like, I don't know their traits. Um, stuff like that and then because otherwise if I make all the sims and I feel like I'm forcing the connection sometimes and I like to just see what happens okay we're about to have an ad in like 30 ish seconds I'm gonna let it run we're just we're kind of be figuring out what we're doing next so you're not gonna really miss anything okay I'm gonna save um the daughter oh wait I read that one can it tell me the save name um, this one, I just started with, um, seriously, seriously Sims. Is that right? Or wait, hold on. Let me make sure I read the question right. Tell me the save name. Forgot to write it down. The other save that I play in a lot is Rat Boy, Rat Boy Sims save file. It's called Rat Boy Sims 1.2. It's either 1.2 or 2.0. Just look up Rap Boy Sims save file. That's the modern one that I play in. And then this one, I start it from a blank save, which is Seriously's blank save. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I did not start from a blank save on this one. You're totally right, Bianco. Um, it was antiquated. They only have Brindleton Bay. Antiquated Brindleton. And it's by antiquated. I'm typing it in plumb up. Oh, yeah, I think I spelled it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot because all the worlds are empty except for Brindleton Bay and then maybe the new worlds. Like sometimes when you download an old save file packs that came out after they made their save, like actually have all the EA lots in them. I think that might be the case for this one. I, I, it, it, I forgot because it's been so long since we've been in actual Brindleton. So I'm glad you corrected me on that because I was wrong. Um, Andrew, wish someone could make you and the Sims still trying to figure out your new laptop and how it works. And you're scared to put your game in. Oh, no. I'd be nervous, too, though, if I just got a computer. I'm still nervous with this new computer. 
I want to see what I put here. What is the dark wing house? I think this one is this set as university or could I use this? Let's see. I got this from the gallery, so I'm just having a little. Okay, definitely no laundry. I could take laundry out. This is really pretty, though. Um, I don't think these have to be university housing. I don't think it has to be university housing. Actually, I only I have it set as regular residential. Actually, I might tweak this house. I mean, look at this. Hold on, daytime. Look at this house. Like this is stunning. I might put a really wealthy family here. I might put a really wealthy family here and make it look less like university housing. So we'll like take away like the banner. Um, that could be fun. And then how many rooms are in here? One, two, three, four. There's actually like four rooms set as bedrooms at the moment. A nice big office downstairs. I feel like this could be, this looks like the Vanderbilt home IRL. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, so let me have a thing through storytelling because, okay, let me go back. Let me try to jog my memory on the Sims that I created with Wyatt. Where's Wyatt's household? I'm going to go into cast with them real quick. Wyatt, where are you? There, here you are. Yeah, I'm not adding any new Sims. I just want to I just want to see them in cast. Okay, so what's his name? Miles Darcy. What if it's his family's house? This is who I created to actually be Wyatt's, Wyatt's love interest, you know, even though right now he seems to think um, Emmanuel, uh, he, Wyatt is not gonna end up with Emmanuel. He is an evil snob, self-absorbed party animal who's mean, okay? Um, but I went with Darcy. So what if we actually create the rest of his family and they live, we all choose dumb partners in college and that the truth, that is the truth. Especially love the vines on the building to show its age. Yeah, Emmanuel's off limits, Wyatt. Stop trying, stop trying. So I think that house will be Darcy's family. So should we go ahead and make his family? Um, or maybe I should try to get a few more things down before, because I think this lot is where we'll maybe like go for dinners and stuff like that. The other Sims, I'm just going to like leave open to gameplay, like whatever happens with them happens with them. There's a love story, but it can't happen because of the different stations they are in. Um, did I get Darcy from Jane Austen? Uh, maybe subconsciously. Maybe subconsciously. If I, I think I literally randomized. I used the like random last name generator until I found one that sounded rich and fancy. And I was like, oh, Darcy sounds like a really rich name. So maybe I just like subconsciously did it. Because I'm sure at some point in my life I've heard Darcy from Jane Austen. But I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, get some stuff down, then make his family. Perfect. Okay, so... It's decided, though, that it'll be Darcy's family home. Because, um, yeah, Cass will take a long time. And I, and I, and I might not make them on, on, on cam. Oh, this one's called Darby's Den, though. Okay, hold on. Let's look at the other build real quick. Let's look at the other. Oh, that's Darby, not Darcy. Should we change his last name to Darby? Because then that would go with. Oh, this is not a residential. I forgot. This is more of like a university. Okay, okay, okay. This is the commons. We need to come here more. We should come here instead of the library. So let's make these. Um, this is where Wyatt is going to start the newspaper. Let's put typewriters down instead of the computers. That'll be step one. 
The old timey. Old timey typewriters. I love it. Anything else in here, like extremely, I mean, we have lights in here. Technically, they would be candles, but I, I don't, that's fine. The bathrooms, I think I'm just going to not worry about. Um, I'm going to just take this object out of here and just make this like a storage closet. Um, wait, what is happening with the floor? Oh, wait, right here. Oh, is this what you're talking about? I didn't even notice this. We can take those out. It's like glass. We'll just take these out. They were like the things from Island Living. Okay, we'll take that out because that looked kind of weird. But yeah, this is where Wyatt's going to start his, his newspaper. Um, You like Darby, actually? And then downstairs... It's like a study area. I mean, this is fine for for decades. Um, little debate area. Okay, I don't see any more like computer computers. So I think this is like, this is good enough. This is, I might change these sofas though. Let's change these sofas um, to the ones from Cottage Living maybe to kind of have the same vibe but like a little bit more um, or no, that's like, I don't like how that looks. Um, yeah, leather sofa. I was thinking we could either do these to kind of blend in with the vibe of everything else. I think we just do these. I use these a lot in my other decades. I think we just do that. And then it kind of looks intentional. Um, Becca Boo, welcome in. Good morning. How are you? Uh, Quackers, what's up with Betty? Um, I have, I, we haven't done any gameplay. We're doing prep for the next, next part of the series. So just getting everything done. So Betty's right where we left her last time we played. Um, and Artie. How are you guys doing? Okay, let's save since we added a few things in here. Okay, I think this build is good enough. This build is good enough. Look, can we just say these are... Are we going to change Darcy to Darby? And then we can say these are his his grandfather and his grandmother. <laughs> they, like, own Brychester. They, like, funded the school. Why it falls in love with, like, the family that established the university. <laughs> Not a fan too modern. I'm leaving them. I'm leaving them. What I wanted was the cottage living ones, but I don't think there's a brown sofa because the cottage living one is actually the right. Oh, wait, there is a brown. This is more what I was originally thinking because the this sofa was invented like a long, long time ago. The there's, What's the word for it? Chess. I had one of these sofas at my old apartment in Texas. Um, Chesterfield. Let me look up when was Chesterfield sofa invented? 1700s, in the mid 1700s. So, yeah, we're good. We're good on the Chesterfield. Oh my gosh! Wait, let's see if it worked. Yes! It worked! Yay, GM Scott! Let me write it down. Gotta add you to my VIP list. You're a VIP. I have not, I haven't created a command for it yet, but I'm gonna create an emote command. It's on my list. I was working on it the other day. Bow down to the new royalty. Yes, I love that. We have a new VIP. Andrew, you'd love to have a dorm room this nice. I didn't even go to like, I, w I went to commuter school. I never like lived at college. I get so jealous when I play college in the game because I wish this was like a little bit of a deeper brown, but that's what we've got. That's what we've got. Let me just see if any of the other swatches look good.
Do we prefer this more like mauvey brown? No, I don't think so. There's like a black, but that's really stark in contrast. They're just, I don't, I thought I had a custom content recolor of this. Let me just double check if I do. At least I thought I did at one point in time, but it doesn't look like I do in this save file. Probably in my other save file, I have a recolor. That's the only thing I don't like about this is the colors are just, they're, they're just not super great options. There's this like grayish green. Oh wait, that's the black. Why is it looking more grayish green now? It was originally looking black. Um, Kind of depends on the way you look at it. I don't know. I can't. I just feel like I don't like that. I like the brown better. I don't love any of them, but. Um, a VIP channel? I could, but like, what do you guys want to like use it for? You guys do get. Uh, um, like I do tag you as VIP so that in the member list, like when you're online, it'll show that like the v like the VIP show ahead of like people who are not VIP. I could create a channel, but I just like, if you guys are the only ones like in it, I just don't know what you would, and let, like, unless I did, I don't know, I'm happy to like add more stuff to like that comes with the VIP. We just have to kind of think about what would that B and then that could be a channel for me to like communicate with you guys maybe i'll create a channel for vip and then i can brainstorm things that you guys as vips would like to have um because i would love to hear you guys' feedback and suggestions about how amazing you guys think you are but um because i do want to like do some more stuff for that um okay i'm gonna go with that color because look that matches like the leather on these sofas so yeah just like looking at the room as a whole let's do that so you guys can chat with each other i mean i'll make it i'll make it under like community and i'll just lock it to the vip roles so and we can develop it as time goes on okay done with that don't ask them that they will expect champagne and caviar. Well, I will not be able to deliver champagne and caviar, but um, I could do that. Um, uh, Gaming with Lar, it is um, one of my channel point redemptions. So it's something I created for people who had like a ton of channel points, a way to like recognize them for spending so much time in the community. So it's just one of my channel point redeems. Um, the main stuff it adds is like if the channel goes into like slow mode um you don't go into slow mode in chat um you get a diamond next to your name in chat and then I, you get a special discord role and it's for three months when you from the date you redeem it it's good for three months um so that's what it is so far but i'll be like probably adding some more to it okay i think this place is good to go we have a bar, we have a library, we have more townies. Um, for storytelling, I don't know if we need much more here. The no slow mode is what you like, you can't live without it. Yeah, no slow mode is really nice. I have to be careful like how many people get VIP though because there's gonna be so many of you guys. Oh, and it highlights you guys in, on my end in my chat. So I see your chats. Like they're like circled. Um, Monica, happy five months. Thank you for the resub. Love you. Is this Monica? Is it is it you now or is it still Lista? Who who am I talking to? <laughs> or is it both of you? <laughs> is it the whole fam? Okay, I'm trying to think what I want to add next. Um I want to play test. Okay, let's go into Wyatt real quick and see if we go to the bar, do more people show up? Like do those other townies that we just put in, like those families. Um, I don't care if they wouldn't like actually be hanging out at the, well, it's 11 p.m. I don't know if that's going to impact anything, but I'm going to travel and just see if my home regions is like populating more. Here, we might as well take the roommates. Here, bring, bring your roommates with you. 
First class all the way, baby. Feel like it's been way longer than five months. It's just you now. Let Lista left to go home. Oh my gosh, they live an hour and a half away from you guys. Oh my goodness. That must have been so nice to get to see them. Do, do they like come over quite often? Okay, so Annabelle Tanner is here. She's a uh, current, current love interest we have a kind of a couple options going not like true love interests like marriage alliance interest <laughs> um we have this guy is here also i'm curious if a bartender is gonna show up i hear a tv somewhere or is that the radio nope that's a tv i missed this one i didn't know these were here no televisions not yet not yet okay let's see if any of the new townies show up see people are showing up from the antiquated like these guys are from brindleton bay so i wonder why they're populating here what's the term you use for marriage of convenience well lavender marriage is specifically the marriage where they have like agreed i think to you know be with other people because of their orientation i think correct me if i'm wrong because i learned that term in my youtube comments but lavender marriage is the term that i'm glad i learned because i actually didn't know that term so that is what he's gonna have um none of the new let's see who are you oh you're just that sim that i created for outfits um i need to like get them out of the like played um emmanuel could you stop playing electric guitar but no bartender is showing up so am i still having a problem in this save file where i thought we fixed it i thought we got it to where bartenders were showing up but they're not but I mean, this is enough Sims hanging out that it's fine. It's not like empty. Um, I just kind of wanted to see if some of the new townies would show up, but it might just be too late in the day and they're like new in the save files. So I think there is, okay, bar right here. I think it's also set up that it could be a restaurant if you wanted it to. Um, I don't, there's a cafe thing here, but that's not a bar. Yeah, there's only one, because that does happen on lots a lot. If there's more than one bar, it gets really messed up. Let me make sure top level. Yeah, this is just like an attic or like a, I didn't even know this was up here. I'm not going to lie. Wait, this is, this has got a bar. What is this? Oh. I just, I think I just pulled that from, oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to get rid of it. I think I pulled that from down here, but we don't, we don't need the flags. Um, yeah. So now there's, I don't know. I don't know. Rock Hudson used to be in a lavender marriage. I don't, do I know who that is? I never know who anyone is when y'all reference my name. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Oh, I messed up the requirements because of the tv huh what if i put what if i hide it up here and take the door out of this area because we don't really need this third floor what if i get rid of this door yeah tv i forgot that the tv was a requirement good call Rose. um i'll just plop one down on the ground and that'll be locked okay that's good I think this one's fine. I'm just going to leave it. I'm really bothered by no bartender showing up, though. I've got to get that fixed before we get back into real gameplay. Um, so let's just go back to... Rock Hudson was a movie star. Okay. Half of Hollywood in the 1920s was in a lavender marriage. A TV stand acts as a TV for the requirements. Does it really? Beth, you always size required items down to the smallest size and hide them in a wall or bush. I either do that or the TV I don't because they will still queue to watch it. 
if it's somewhere where they can reach it. So I either hide it in like a one tile that they can't get into, or if I need a lot of objects that I need to hide, I make like a hidden basement and I just plop all the objects down in the basement. It just kind of depends on the build, but I'm always like <laughs> hiding items all over the place. Um, is there anything else? How do you get into build mode for the... I think you have to be like on the lots for those. What is this, a 20 by 15? I wanna put something on this slot. What, what should we add that we're missing? Maybe some sort of community lot? What would be... What should we look for? Um, something that would add like a good gameplay element for Wyatt at university. Like we have a library, we have the commons, those kind of serve the same purpose. We have a bar. Um, maybe like try to find like a fancy restaurant where the, the wealthy family takes him out for like a meeting or something or a park maybe. Yeah. Cafeteria. Oh, Becca Boo, thank you. I just saw your message from earlier. Um, that makes sense because you had Sims throwing basketballs at a statue once. Now you know why. Because did you have a did you have a um a hoop hidden in it or something? Wait, Quackers, resizing things on the controller is a pain. Oh, I always wondered how you guys do like the cheats. Andrew, thank you for the hydrate. Nico! Nico, 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 Nico. Welcome in. Do you like my do you like my song? <laughs> oh, let's all get a good stretch. Let's get a good stretch. A park is a historic cruising location. Do you guys want to know a random thing I saw on a Victorian documentary that I watched? So public parks actually weren't that common yet during this time. And it was, I think, around like the late 18, like it was like sometime in the 1890s, like the, like the true Victorian era, that people started hanging out in cemeteries because they didn't have parks, like they didn't have public parks. And so all these people started like picnicking and like lunching in cemeteries because it was the closest thing available that was like a true park. So then they started creating parks. <laughs> so that away people and also people during that era also had like a really huge obsession with death. Maybe build a cemetery. It was just a random thing I remember seeing on a documentary once. I'm going to go to, so when I'm not sure what I want to put, what I like to do is like, I'll go to the gallery for the lot size that I want. If there's a particular thing that I'm like looking for, I will filter by that. Like, let's just start with park, right? Let's just start with park. Most popular. This is kind of special because we're looking for something a little more antiquated. So maybe I'll even go hashtag decades. Let's see what. Um, let me try historical. Nope. Um, Pole Parker cafeteria. I just don't know that I need a cafeteria. Um, or like, do you mean like restaurant? Cause I kind of want to put a restaurant cause I'm just thinking through things like scenes that I want to play during Wyatt's story. And one of them is like the, like, I don't have to worry about what the house looks like so much. If there's a place that the rich people can take Wyatt and then we can have conversations. So like maybe the rich people take him out to the really nice restaurant and that's where they meet, like they get drinks at the bar. I don't know what I'm gonna find for a 2015. Cause I think park, I was kind of open to a park because then he could also, maybe that's where he takes his dates. Oh my God, hold on. Let me look at this romantic garden park real quick. Hold on, let me place this real quick. 
Let me see what this looks like. Becca, your aunt had a fascination with cemeteries and made us go nearly all of the time. My grandma, I don't know if she had like a fascination with cemeteries. The thing she had a fascination with was she collected obituaries. She had like a book that she like collected them in. And she would always go and clean off tombstones. Like, not, is, that, is that the right word? Tombstones? Like the graves? Like she would go and like um, sweep them and like clean up like dead flowers and stuff like that. I remember being really little and my grandma taking me to the church. Okay, this technically like the entry point would probably look better on the side. But this is an option. Something like this is an option. He could go on little walks through the park as like a date. Oh, I didn't mean to take a screenshot. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, option number one. Okay, back to the gallery. There's a TikToker who cleans off tombstones. Oh, maybe a cart to get pastries. Tea houses and cafes were definitely a thing by then. Okay, let's actually maybe a cafe then. I have to turn my my reshade off sometimes when I'm in the gallery. Let me search by cafe. Because restaurants are just so bugged in the game. So maybe we just do a cafe because we have a little bit more control over gameplay. Um, This lot size is what's going to trip stuff up because... It's already going to limit our option and then trying to find something historical on top of that. Student cafe. So this is built on this slot. Let me see. Let's take a look at this one real quick. I like stuff that kind of blends in with the with the area. Turn my reshade back on. We don't we don't need the let's just get rid of the I'm going to get rid of like the sports objects. I want it to seem like a little bit of an upscale kind of a joint. Simplify it just a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, just like a really quaint, small. I'm gonna get rid of the backpacks because those feel a little more modern as well. But otherwise, just like a really small little cafe. Should I change the type of seating? Can they even get up here? Oh, there's stairs out the back. Okay, and there's like a toilet upstairs. Okay. Okay, so this is an option. I could have a look just to see if there's something that's a little bit more interior space. But that is definitely an option. Yeah, I feel like not the bar stools. Okay, so let us let me just have a look again. And then I know I deleted some objects, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. Let me just keep looking real quick. So this was, let me save this one to my library in case we want to come back to it and I can't. Wait, hold on. Save to my library. Let me just, so that was Student Cafe by Flubber3264. Um, I would love something that had a little more interior room. Okay. Oh, hold on. Bright. I, I, I looked at this one before. I might redo the interior, but this has a lot of space. Hold on. I actually have seen this a lot recently when I think I saved it when I was like, oh, that could work. It's got a very dark academia feel. Look, this is going to give us a lot more room. This is definitely somewhere the rich people go. But it's a little run down on the interior because it's built to be college. Moonchild, we are just doing prep. Prep, prep, prep. So we can have all the lots and sims that we need. Um, but you see what I mean? It's a little bit grungy on the interior and like definitely not decades, but it's a good, it's a good base. If we get rid of and switch some things, like I think I want to definitely change, but this gives us a good shell to work with. So why don't we turn this into an old timey, like furniture wise, this could stay. I think the lamps definitely need to change. Those are very modern. Um... Oh my god, I love this. What if Wyatt likes to come and sit in this little corner? <laughs> uh, where are the stairs? Okay, stairs are here. I want this to feel a little bit less university and a little bit more just like a local... Maybe we put like a fa some fancy stuff on the walls. 
we put like nicer like high end like make it look a little high end that can stay maybe there's some history with that okay i love the detailing in this like the floor plan is solid lots of room we can put whatever we want up here but i'm going to kind of get rid of the more modern things um i'll leave this bathroom just like that now that we got rid of like the the modern rug maybe i'll change the curtains to be um i'm gonna just take that off of the wall because like that seating area is completely fine without the rug I'm just kind of stripping it back for historicalness. Um, and we're going to change the curtains. The curtains will really give it an older vibe if we change those. I love the ones from Cats and Dogs. Let me see if they're nice enough looking. But there's a swatch that I think will work. They're like my favorite old timey curtains. The darker one. So we'll do like these instead. I don't feel like changing all the wallpaper, so I'm just gonna keep it like the dark vibe. Whoops. Okay, there. I'll just those would just go there. That's fine. They're up like one click too high, but maybe I'll just bring everything up to that same level. Okay. Did I miss a floor lamp? Did I miss one? Let me see. Where did I? Where did I miss one? I'll replace these lights. Let me find the floor lamp that I missed. On the first floor, I missed one. Oh, I did. I missed one right here. Okay. And then I think we'll change the seating. I'm going to get rid of that little thing. Change that to a darker. I want it to look a little more high end. I think we should change it to not be bar stools. I'm also thinking about the way that the Sims route. Like if you just, there's so many places for them to sit that they'll start trying to route all over the place. Um, A new gas lantern from the for rent pack. For sure. I think I'm gonna start with the big stuff like the tables. Let's start here. Surface, dining tables. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that rope fence for sure. I'm gonna get rid of that. I, right now I'm gonna keep it just for um, like mentally for my spacing. And then I'll get rid of it. Because I do like the way where the tables were laid out. I might even use custom content like these look really nice. Like if I'm wanting to go more high end. Comfort chairs. What about... I'm going to type 1880 dining chair. It's so interesting how a dining chair really um shows like an era of time uh images eight because like the edwardian period starts to get the more curvy furniture and then some eras are the more straight leg um yes yeah, so i think pretty much generally anything um maybe even this custom content one let me see i don't i don't think i'm gonna like the texture of that in here maybe do i like that or not i don't know do Rose, what do you think? I can't tell if I like love, I mean, I definitely don't love it. I'm not going like, oh my God, I love it. I don't, I can't tell if I hate it or if I like it. 
I can't decide. Yeah, you're right. They did love the frills. And then maybe like a candle on the table. Oh, does it match the curtains? They don't have any curtains downstairs, actually. So let me let me bring it upstairs and we can look at it next to the curtain. Oh my god, I think it does. Oh, look how good it looks next to the curtains. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, that is... I'll keep that one over there. I want to I think I want to put like a big bookshelf right here. One it's bothering me that that grass is poking through. Um What's what height are these walls? 2 uh is this I love the disc Oh wait, I have so many custom content bookshelves though. Maybe I find a custom one. So that's an option. I want, I kind of want a taller one. That looks too much like a house. This is like my favorite bookshelf. Ooh, yes, it does fit. Hold on, let me, I'm jumping around a lot. Let me get on ground level. Oh, I'm gonna, why are the doors brown? I feel like the door needs to be black. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, wait, there's a bookcase that has a ladder? Hold, please. For rent, Rose? Oh, 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 I didn't even, I haven't seen this object before. Oh, I hate that the books are all the same color in the black swatch, though. Like, my books... Okay, just because my bookshelf is black doesn't mean all my books are black. That's annoying. What are some of these custom ones that I have? Oh my god, what if it was this one because this place is, like, black and gold? Hold on, I think this is too tall. Yeah. Um, I really undo. I re I'm just going to keep that one for now because I don't want to spend like forever, forever on it. I just want there to be a bookshelf. And I don't like that this is brown. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like we don't, the brown accents aren't really working. Oh, this doesn't even have black. Ugh. Um... What else should be up in this area? This is too modern. Even this table is a little modern. What about like like a like a table that could actually be like a um, conference table in the mi middle, basically like a bigger dining table in the middle, where big groups? Because if he comes over with some of the um. With some of the rich people, they'll have somewhere to meet. Here, maybe I'll do something like that with a candle. Or like a kerosene. I don't know. I'm just putting some candles. There's just this random seat over here. Okay, I'm thinking like a big table in the middle. This I'm designing more for actual gameplay. Some of the display cases from the new gym pack. Yeah, we can probably like litter those in somewhere. Um, let me pick out a table. I think there's a matching tall table to this little one. So let me see if I can find it. Um, Cause that's Felix Xander. Okay, Colonial. If I can't find it just by looking i will search by colonial and then i'll find it this one's london this could work 
Okay, that's going to be middle of the room. I wish it was a three. Like, a th an even... Oh, 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 found it. This is the same set as the... Okay, so I want you to be right here, I think. And then probably a rug under this big one. And then I think hanging from this middle area will be one of the big candle chandeliers. This is where we'll come for gameplay, probably up to this big table. Um, lighting. The head chairs, I could try to make them different, but I don't, I think the set might have matching ones with armrests. If it does, we will be off to the races. If not, we'll have to think it through because they're custom and I don't have anything that looks like it, but I, I feel like I remember. Okay, a little bit too long on that one. I think it might have a matching one. I want that same chandelier, but just medium. Here we go. Like a massive cast iron. Okay, let's see what this looks like from sim level. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm a little bit off center, but I'll fix it. Yeah. Okay. Oop, put you there. The one with the round back that is from the Victorian era. There's a lovely little love seat even. I'll look at that. I'm trying to remember if that's the love seat that I absolutely can't stand. Let there's there's one of them. I can't remember if it's base games or if it's the vampire, but there is one of those love seats. I can't. I hate. So let's have a look. See. OK, is this the one you're talking about, Rose? Because this one I do like that one. I do like I'm trying to think what's the one I one I can't stand. I think this one's from get famous i i will i cannot i don't even think i use this in boss hog's house i hate it so much um we do have a matching love seat though but then that feels like very matchy 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 i think there already are chases in here from the vampire pack there's one right here and i don't want too much seating because then you start to have routing issues when you're trying to like gameplay they just like they're trying to sit a hundred different places so i'm trying to limit i was thinking of putting a chess table on this other side um or just mirroring the room uh let me see who is that mama sim thank you for the stretch let's get a good good stretch okay we got about 15 minutes and we'll take a break the round one is certainly Victorian. Let's see what it looks like. Wait, where did, oh, I didn't mean to delete it. Whoops, accidentally deleted it. There were a couple of spots. Like, I feel like maybe replacing this one here. Cannot stand those candles. I'm gonna replace what's over here. What if it was like a little, Another little reading nook area that was like right here. Maybe we go there. Just to give it like some difference. Oh my God, I think Wyatt, this is Wyatt. Oh, Wyatt loves this place. He didn't have anything like this back in Brindleton Bay. I mean, uh, Chestnut Ridge. Um, Bunch of little nooks to, to do some reading. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm missing so much. Juna, howdy! I missed you. There was a bunch of VIP messages around you that were outlined. So I missed you first coming in, if you're still here. Um, am I going to do a different ceiling? Um, I might make the ceiling dark. As, I might just do the same as the floor, just so it's not so white. Um, I missed that. Under the stair, the fern from the new for rent pack with the china pot. Yes. That one will be good. And it'll take me forever to find it, so let's just filter. Um, oh, wow. You're a big boy. 
What if I put you on this side so then you have room to like sort of... I like that. Um, oh my god, Andrew, you were in the, in the quake zone? Is everything okay? I think I'm gonna go blue just to bring a little bit of color in here. Keep it the base swatch. Um. Yeah, that's perfect for that spot, Rose. Good thinking. I forgot about that big, big, big one. We used that on the porch when we first played around with the pack. We had used it outside, and I have since forgotten about it. I didn't give that plant its justice. I'm trying to go to lamps. I want... I think... I think I'm going to do a side table so I have more options. I think you're way too big. Yeah, whoa. Um, I need something with less of a footprint. Man, even you're giant and you're tiny. Yeah, I think this is just too small of a space. Wait, wait, wait. I could do this sideways. Here we go. To get a little, little candle. Okay. There we go. There's not too many um, standing lights that I'm going to like for the time period. You were just commenting about it. You're in the Midwest, but... Oh, okay. You're in the Midwest. You're good. Okay, good, 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 good. What do I think about the lamps from the vampire packs? The one with the fruit? I just don't know if I'm going to be able to go for it. Is it weird to say that there are some objects that, like, when I look at them, I feel like they nauseate me? <laughs> Is that a weird thing to say? But that's how I feel. Some of the objects, I'm like, I really... Ugh. Let me go. I like the... Um, it, you know what's ironic? I kind of hate this lamp. Like, I hate the standing version of it. But I don't mind the not standing version of it. But I think I'm going to use it in here because it really does match the color scheme. It doesn't nauseate me. I don't like hate it. This swatch looks good and I don't build in a lot of black. So I think this is like the only swatch that I really like. I think the red one's not too bad. Like this red swatch isn't, isn't bad at all. I kind of want to, Rose, Rose, what do you think about using the red swatch? Like to bring a little more color in here? Is it like too much? Because the other one matches. The other one matches, but like, they weren't scared of color during this time period. Like they used a lot of color. Yeah, so we'll keep the red for another little pop because otherwise everything's kind of drab. Andrew, love and hate the lamp at the same time. That's like totally how I feel. It's like, oh, not sure. Hi, Allison. Oh my goodness, still struggling with vertigo. I hope you start to feel better soon. But get you some rest. Get, get you some good water, good sleep. Getting physically ill from ugly Sims items is so real. Okay, I'm gonna do a save real quick. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay, we're not, we, we're... Just a little less than 10 minutes till the ad. So we've got, we can get a few more things down. I'm actually enjoying this, like putting this place together, imagining. Okay, let's come back up to the little upstairs area. Now that we finished that nook, let me see if I can find, um, okay. While I've got this filtered, I, oops. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna look at it anyway, just in case we need a backup option. Why is there not just like a fully black, yeah, you're not, I'm, you're not going to work for me. You're not going to work for me. I want to see if there's an armed version. There is, there is, there is, there is. Okay, we can put, we can put the fancier, the fancier end ones. Okay, so now those have, 
The arms. This table needs some like like a centerpiece. They loved green so much they poisoned themselves with it. Victorian girlies were live laugh loving. <laughs> It reminds you of dinners with your grandma and grandpa. I love that. You call them the kings and queens chairs. Okay, let me see. Let me go to like the, the like plants category. And let me see what I have in this category. Because I'm not even sure. I know there's like... Some like very centerpiece looking options. What are you? There's like custom content I like never use. A lot of it's gonna be modern because it's Alexander, but they do have some like decades looking stuff. Um oh you're like really big. Uh no. I guess there wasn't as much as I thought in this category. There is that actual item that's called the centerpiece. I think that came with my wedding stories. That honestly might work here. Yeah, the flower displays from wedding story. We did it, Rose. We basically said the same thing. If I haven't heard of the Iridium Girls, definitely look into it. Is that... Hold on. I think I know what that is. I'm going to Google it real quick and see if it is. Or radium, I mean. Yeah, that was like the radium, the radium poisoning, right? Yeah, the, like, the art, the, like the poison in the walls. Like, there was so much. Like the lead, the mercury. They were like putting mercury in their mouth. There was like... But there, just think about it. You know what scares me is like with how fast things are like developing now for us, like how much stuff is really bad for us that we just don't know or aren't thinking about. And like people are going to look back on us in 200 years, 100 years, 200 years and be like, wow, they were so dumb. They did blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean? That's what's terrifying. It's like, we don't know either. Like, especially like, mass production and whatever stuff that like our food supply i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go it's supposed to be a cozy stream but you know i can like very this is how quickly my brain goes to like oh my god like we need a like survivor bunker and like hide from the world <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah vapes are so bad i need to i vape really bad the only time I'm not vaping is on stream. That's why I don't vape on stream because I'm like, I need to not be vaping. I've tried to quit so many times. It's so hard. And I'm like, there's, there's so much bad crap in this. Like, it is not good. Okay, there's a specific one that I was looking for that I feel like was not my wedding stories. So now I'm trying to think, what was that item? It might have been... Okay, it was one of the more recent... Ah, it was growing together. The centerpiece for attention. I kind of like the yellow. There we go. It was growing together. Wisteria vaped once. It's not swag. You're right. It's not swag. Way to use that terminology again that you used the other night don't do it don't do it it's not worth it at all okay i think i'm gonna do these same chairs but with a chess table over oh oh i kind of like how that looks like extra seats but it doesn't really serve an in-game purpose so despite the fact that i love how it looks we're gonna go with the chess table anyway just to get another activity in here should I go chess table or game table? Maybe I go chess, chess right there. Actually, this is a lot of space for a game table and we don't really need this whole other sitting area right here. So I'll go chase, I mean, chess on the, out there. 
let's see knowledge okay i'm in knowledge um let's do let's do you yeah we'll just do chess there Oh, I've gone down that rabbit hole, Rose, of what all our like what all the U.S. allows that other countries don't. It's terrible, 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 terrible. Oh, uh, Andrew, you've never had any of it. I stay that way, stay that way. I've had almost all the things at some point or another, and it's not good. None of it's good for you. None of it is good for you. I'm much better now, but my 20s were... My 20s were a rough time. Uh, what was I doing? Game table. Wreck. Um, Cause then th this will give us some options when we come over for gameplay. We'll have plenty of things. Let me make sure this isn't going to look too, like... I think I should do different chairs for the game table, though, so it doesn't look so matchy-matchy. Like, maybe just, like, some wooden ones to soften it just a tad. I'm scared. Ugh. If I put it right there, they technically might get stuck if they get up on that side. But if not, then it's too... Okay, what about downstairs? Let me see. What about in this corner actually instead? I don't I don't like how tight that feels. I'm going to go there. I'm going to do it mirrored. I'm going to mirror it on both sides. Wisteria middle kid middle school kids are gross. I feel you. That's crazy that it was like middle school kids, though. That blows my mind. I know that wood doesn't match a hundred percent, but it is what it is, and I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I think I'm gonna just mirror game tables on level one. We should do like a like a an entryway rug. I need to get rid of this. I actually am really liking the wooden chairs down here. I think I might do this. Hold on. S stick with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Is that... I might just do this on the first level and go one... Out and one out. I'm with you, Rose. Like I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, I had a rough middle school too. My seventh and eighth grade, Andrew was really tough. Like I had a group of friends, and then like I was like kind of like in between like cool kids and not like there were the popular kids, and then there was like I was just kind of like a regular kid, like. Um, I wasn't like super picked on at first, but I wasn't like one of the popular kids. I just like flew under the radar. And then be when I started sports in seventh grade, I started to know more of the popular kids through sports. And I kind of like abandoned my like close friends. And then like I had a friend who was like, she like cornered me in the bathroom one time and she's like, I just want you to know that I'm still your friend. But when we're in front of so and so, I have to pretend like we're not friends. And I was just like, okay, like for some reason, that seemed okay to me to do that. But looking back, I was like, oh my God, that was so mean. First of all, I was mean to them and they were mean to me. Like, I like, wanted to sit with the popular kids and abandoned my friends which was not cool i regret that a lot it was, middle, middle school was a, a weird time let me tell you i feel like it got better in high school for me personally i know not for everyone 
But it was just that seventh and eighth grade year was weird. You don't want to know my first kiss in the sand dunes in grade two. I would have been seven ish. Rose. Wisteria, your first kiss was seventh grade. My first, like, kiss that was just like a peck, like a wow, <laughs> was my boyfriend on the last day of school, my ninth grade year of high school. And we literally, wait, no, sorry, eighth grade. My eighth grade year before, before high school. And it was the last day of school and we just broke up because it was summer. Like, it was like, all right, this was fun. Kiss, bye. <laughs> and then I didn't have my first, like, real kiss until... I can't remember if it was during ninth grade or the summer between my ninth and tenth grade. Um, I was dating a guy who was an older brother. Oh, we should do the storyline at some point. Like, how to meet people, like, in Sims. I met a guy because our brothers were the same age on the baseball team. So that's how I met this guy from another school. And you know, you you were the interesting person when you were like dating a guy from another school, at least where I was from, because we lived out in the country and other schools were not close. Like you didn't meet people from other schools. <laughs> so I was like mysteriously dating the guy a year older from another school i thought i was so cool but anyways that was my first like real kiss this is an interesting conversation we're having today the other day i said something oh i said something about the type of people that i dated now we're getting like all the skeletons out of the closet okay let me i'm gonna change up what's on this um, I'm going to do some candles and some books. We have plenty of books in here, but I think I want to do some that are like kind of roughly stacked. Just to look like there's like all the bookshelves are here, but someone's just left a stack there on the thing. Okay. Let me see what you guys are saying. I want to, I want to know all the first kiss stories. I had my first kiss at 16 in the library. That actually, that could be romantic depending on who you ask. I think in the library sounds cute. Becca Boo had your first kiss out the front of your house, hiding behind the hedge so your parents didn't see. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to remember the actual first kiss and where I was. I'll have to see if I can remember. I remember the person it was with. You had your first kiss in kindergarten. Oh, Beth, that's so cute. Then in college, you realize you like girls. Do y'all want to know something about me that I've never told any of y'all? Um, I had a girlfriend before I had a boyfriend. And this was kind of traumatic for me, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, and, I, and I came out to my parents about this last year, so now I feel comfortable talking about it. This was like a thing for me from when I was 15. I had a girlfriend. It was a secret at least from my family. I did not make it a secret at school. I did not care at school, <laughs> but like from my family, it was a secret. And my dad, I guess like parents aren't stupid. He like, he knew, all right. He knew, he knew, he knew. Um, and he like sat me down and like told me it was wrong and stuff. And then I started, like, I felt bad. It like really messed me up psychologically. I was like, oh, it's like, this is not okay. Who I am is not okay. Um, so I started to like hide it and then I like started to date guys again and I was like, okay, I'm not allowed to date girls like that. It was like rough therapy tea time with Shay. Yeah. I've actually always wanted to play the story out in the Sims, like have like a, like a teenage Sim that like is scared to come out to their family. But then I went through a big healing period last year. I like visited my family. I like told them everything and they were basically like. They didn't even realize that that had stuck with me for so long or like they didn't even like remember that like for them like they were just doing the best that they thought that they were doing at the time as parents I guess you know like times have changed now um not for everyone but for a lot of people it's gotten a lot better and uh 
it was healing it was very cathartic so i like basically i guess came out to them last year and that was actually a big thing with my ex-boyfriend too was like me figuring that out he's like i think you'd be happier with the girl and i'm like yeah maybe probably <laughs> so i don't know i don't know we'll see what happens but Okay, what are you guys saying? I saw Rose said therapy tea time with Shay. Um, with Sirius had both your share of girlfriends and boyfriends, but now you're only into cowboys. I love that. What about cowgirls? What about cowgirls? Just cowboys? Um, you want to know what's something really funny too? I've been watching a lot of TikTok and it's so funny because after I like broke up with my boyfriend, I was like, maybe I'll just be straight lesbian now. Just forget it. I'm done with guys. And then I read Fourth Wing and I like super have the like, like Zayden Ryerson, he is like my book boyfriend. And I was like, I don't know, this guy's getting me like revved up. Maybe I like, maybe I am just bisexual. And then I saw a TikTok this morning that was like something about lesbians having book boyfriends. And it was like, yeah, because they're men written by women. And I was like, oh yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> so true it's like they are men but they're written by women so you could be a lesbian and have a book boyfriend with Syria, you have a crush on your sim fourth wing is really good did you like it did you read um iron flame i read both of them i that book had me in a chokehold let me tell you i hadn't read in a really long time and then i randomly picked up fourth wing at costco i, I didn't know any of the hype all i knew was it was about dragons because i love the aragon books and i was like i didn't know it was spicy i didn't know any of it i didn't know any of it i just was like ooh. A book with dragon writers. Yeah, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Now I'm reading all the Sarah J. Moss books. I'm reading Throne of Glass. I'm just like, I've gone down a rabbit hole. I have gone down a rabbit hole. It's it's not super spicy. I mean, the scenes that are spicy are very spicy. Well, I mean, they're not like weird or anything, but they're very graphic. Um, But there's only two of them at the end of fourth wing and then i think iron flame also maybe only has two scenes um but they like describe everything <laughs> like that's happening so okay i'm trying to find a rug and talk about this and i'm i'm not doing good at doing both oh no and i missed the ad and i missed break time by 10 minutes because we've just been chit chatting guys Sorry about that. If you had the ad and, and missed 90 seconds, I didn't even see the alert in chat because I'm just uh, here to hang out. <laughs> Andrew, you came out. Okay, I'm, I scrolled way back. Andrew, you came out to your mom when you were 13 and she knew already. Yeah, Our, most parents, they know. They know. My dad was like, you're just like very possessive of her. Like my girlfriend who was my friend, you know, to them, my best friend, my best friend, you know, I'm like 13 years old. My dad's like, you're very like possessive of her. You're like very emotional. You're getting like very upset a lot more than I think someone would have just a friend. I'm like, she's just my friend. She's just my friend. <laughs> she was not in fact, just my friend. Too busy talking about kisses and boyfriends. Yeah, too busy talking about my my high school dating drama. How did we even, how did we get here? How did we get here? Tea time. Let's see if we have a swatch that could look old timey enough for this. They're so, I guess a colorful rug could work. I kind of, I don't, I don't know. I feel like we have that red rug downstairs. It's just so much pattern with the chairs, but they did like, they did like their, it's just a little bit Southwestern. If I can get a little bit of a different pattern, maybe. Rugs are tough in the game. Rugs are very tough. Your tea time in dating is ice cold. Mine is right now. I am not ready to date. Not at all. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, let's see. What did I miss? 
Oh, Rose, your eldest is trans female to male, and you have to admit that it's still taking you a lot to come to terms with, but getting better. Uh, when you were pregnant, you were so happy to be having a girl, but love them unconditionally. Of course you do, Rose. Um, yeah. Oh, I love that, Rose. Oh, you were in one relationship and ended up getting married. Oh, that is... I've, I have a friend who, like, married their, like, first partner and they're like so in love i have had i've just had i haven't had like a ton of relationships but i've had several I, i've been in a relationship since i think i was 18 they were like back to back to back all several years each and i'm just ready to be single for a little while and do my own thing but the last like week or so, I've been starting to feel the like living alone. I've been like, man, it's like really quiet around here. Like I kind of just wish there was someone to like talk to at the end of the day. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to give up on the rug for a minute. It's not, the rug is not, the rug is not rugging. These are all so modern. That's the one I tried a while ago. I do not do roommates, Andrew. I have had roommates. Always really bad for me because I like when I have a roommate, I can like not relax at home. There's just something where I like, like my nervous system is like not okay. Um, so I really don't like roommates. I actually quite like being alone. There are just days that I'm going to go with this one, this rug. There are just days that I wish there was like was someone to talk to at the end of the day. Like I like living with my partner. I don't like having a roommate. There we go. That's gonna be the rug. Okay, we're about to take a break. I've got to pee. Lista, you got 17 views. What's up? Um, let's see. Hydrate. I do need a hydrate. Thank you, uh, RC guy. You're so welcome for the bits, Lista. Did you just make it home? Uh, Monica said you guys live an hour and a half, so I feel like you must have just made it home. Thank you for the stream. Oh my gosh, you were so fun to watch. Is there any pack that has some good rugs in it? I love this one from Growing Together. Isn't this one from Growing Together? Oh, that just copied the wood, not the... Antique Rug of Mysterious Origin. This is one of my favorites from Endgame. It is Growing Together. Yes. Growing Together. I love that one. I also use this one a lot from the Werewolf Pack. It has this one and a more rundown option. I typically only use this first swatch, second swatch. This, this one sometimes, but not as much. But yeah, these first two swatches, I've used in a lot of Dark Academia or like Decades. Um... What vibe are we going for? We're just doing, so this is an old cafe for my decade save file. So it's like a, it's a cafe. Um, and I was, I'm taking way longer than I expected to be taking. Um, but this will be for our Sim who is at university to kind of have some gameplay options. I honestly think this is, I've, take, I've taken way too long because we went into story time, but hopefully you guys don't mind. I enjoyed our story time maybe like a candle oh that's like a teeny tiny candle that's like that's the teeniest tiniest candle i ever did see actually maybe that's maybe it's kind of cute actually i thought it was too small but now there's like room to still like put your books and stuff emily you love the rug from the wolf pack yes i really love that one Rose, that's become your favorite rug too. Yeah, for CC free, I really like it. I tend to use a lot of custom content rugs, depending on what I'm building. I love. I I've decided I'm going with these teeny tiny candles. They're they're so freaking cute. Um, I wonder if I size this down. I wanted a rug here, and I wonder if this doesn't actually have the right vibe. 
can we call this the Black Rose Cafe or something like that? Because everything's like very dark in here, but now we got the rose rugs. The Black Rose. Love the CC rugs from the loom. Like the object of the loom. You love the teeny candle? Okay. Honestly, it's an accurate candle. Perfect. Perfect. Love an itty bitty candle. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this. The Black Rose. Yeah, I'm going to rename it because it's just called Brightchester Books and Cafe. I'm going to rename it the Black Rose Cafe. I don't know. It just seems, I feel like it's the vibe of this place now. Now, the only thing I need to replace is these overhead lights I didn't take down. And should we just do another big chandelier like we did upstairs? Like centered in the room right here at the entry. Hold on. This would be here. And then I think I want this to center. It truly needs to go one more click there. Oh, I want to paint the, hold on. I want to paint the ceilings before I forget. I'm just going to go with the same as the floor. Because it's really bothering me when I go into tab mode. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. It's very dark in here. Um, what if I brought in, actually, this might be nice to bring some colors, some more red, because we have the red, um, yeah, the castle carpets, those are nice, aren't mean, I've had those in my Ultimate Decade save, because I have a Sim who sews, and then I use them in the castle, and I do like those rugs a lot. Check out the light from the, the rent pack, just for options, like, a uh, ceiling, a uh, rose, yeah, I'm going to change them. I also want to get rid of the... I just don't like... I like candles, but I have better options than these swatches. So I just want to change those out. Oh, and then I realized I left a chair. So let's do like bring this chair from upstairs down here. We'll get some lights on because it's dark. Let me just copy paste real quick. Little teeny candle. Okay, so. Yeah, you right there. Yeah, a little cozy spot. Oh my god, I can't wait to bring Wyatt here. Listen, the internet broke. What did you miss? Not too much. I'm just getting the lighting set up downstairs. Okay, I don't want this rug. Okay, there's a rug I wanted to pull out that... I have not gotten yet. Obviously, the cafe object is going to look a little modern, but we're just going to go with what we've got. Um, I want to see what Rose is saying about for rent. Um, which one, Rose? I kind of, why don't we do this over the back here? Why don't we do two of those there? Oh, wait. If I get rid of that, does that make that really dark? Hold, please. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I just got the one, I just noticed the one, um, I don't know if the menu plaque is time appropriate, but I might just leave it. Because, I mean, we already got all this cafe stuff that's not looking the most time appropriate it's feeling very dark let me do um this the smaller one of these on the sides it's stretch time it is it's actually break time but i can't get myself to stop at the moment 
I don't know. That might not be like the best location for that, but I'm just trying to get some light because it was very dark. And then I'll go cast iron. Okay, maybe just something like that. And I'm about to bring some color in this room with the rug. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go go. Um, how did people see back then in shops? Lots of candles. So one of the things on the on Gilded Age, so people who lived in really big fancy houses, there was literally a person, maybe even more than one person, whose job it was to light all of the candles in the house. So they would have candles and chandeliers, like candles in little wall spots across that, like all over the place. And that was literally someone's job. So then once power came out, like people who lit candles lost their job. On the corner of the cafe counter, I could put another red lamp for the fire. Okay, that actually would be really nice, Rose, because what I'm about to do with red, I think will tie in really nicely with that idea. So let's grab the lamp first since we're already in lighting. Um, so let's get the red one. Ah, uh, it won't. Um... It won't snap. We're just going to have to put it like Devin Bumpkin would say, manually. <laughs> we'll just have to do it like that. Okay, I just like heard his voice in my head. Um, you said a pup, your pup on Discord. Her name is Aurora. Oh my god, I love that. Um, watched your own stream and it was so funny. Love it was so cute how you were like, we're gonna get you some products, girl. We're gonna get you some products for your hair. Just looking out, you know? You gotta, someone's got to be looking out for me. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's not what I thought that was. Okay, where is the... Isn't it vampires? The little modular rug situation. Yeah. These also look really good sized up in like... Um, larger okay do i only want to do it there yes 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 and yes yes i do uh i don't know i'm gonna save now i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm like the I'm starting to get really focused on the build, but the bad thing is I'm like missing chat really bad. Um, put it next to the coffee grinder. Do you mean up here? Like up on the higher part? Rose. Th there is a snap point. This, this lamp is a full tile footprint, so it's not gonna snap to anything. A smaller, a smaller one would though. Yeah, see, it doesn't snap because of the size of the lamp. But, like, a smaller one, like, I think the one from, like, um... Let me cancel this. Like, I think the one from, like, For Rent, like, that smaller one, I think would snap. Um, there's, like, that porcelain one. Oh, I mean, a lot, this one. Like, yeah, see how this one snaps? Um... But I can alt place it. It would be better to alt place it up there because this is where their coffee gets served, like right here. So that would get kind of in the way. But if we put it here and then I have to tool mod it just to get it 100% correct. There we go. Perfect. I love it. That gives it definitely much more of an old timey vibe. Beautimus. Perfect. <laughs> Lista, thank you for sharing the vibes. Okay, let's get ready to do a quick break. I love it. I love it. I love it. <gasps> Becca's here. Okay, Becca, we're about to take a quick break because I missed my break at the hour and a half mark. You also missed story time. 
you also miss story time about my first girlfriend in high school and my coming out to my parents story you missed a good story time you missed a really good story time <laughs> we had tea, tea time with shay we we're getting all we were talking about our first kisses like when we had our first kiss our dating history you'll have to go back and watch the vod if you want all the tea but yeah the one time you're not here <laughs> yeah i feel like you would have appreciated my story time but uh the condensed version was i had a girlfriend in high school and she was just my friend and my dad said it was not okay and then i felt really bad about it for like 15 years and tried to hide that part of me and then last year i came out to my family and they said they love me no matter what and that was a big part of me and my my boyfriend breaking up because yeah i don't know we're gonna see what else is out there for me um the dirty chai was crazy. Uh, Rose, what I like to use for clutter, the jars from Paranormal. Yes, those are nice. Ooh, let's grab those and then we'll take a break. I'm like, I feel like I'm in such a flow with this now. I don't want to stop. I didn't, I wasn't planning on taking so long on this little place, but I'm actually glad we did because in all honesty, I don't think we're going to go to the bar very much. Um... I think I like this lot better. It makes sense for Wyatt's personality. Becca, gay trauma for real. For real. And I think the best moment was when I went visit my parents last year. My mom like pulled me aside. Y'all, I'm going to cry. And she was like, you just got to do whatever makes you happy. Like, we're going to love you no matter what. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, uh, let's go to Denver Pride, yes! Oh my god, when is it? <laughs> in Houston, it was in, in Texas, it was June, question mark? Or July, it was summer. When is it in Denver? Um, oh, you're stuck in Conservativeville, Texas. Is it also, is it June everywhere? Because I was thinking it was different months in different, like, cities, like, throughout, but, like... Is it just June? And Natty, welcome in! Should be kicks off Pride Month. Sweet. Okay, so June is Pride Month. See, I, I, I never knew if June was just Pride Month for me in Houston or if that was like Pride Month for everyone. So it's for everyone. So that makes sense. So some, do, some cities do it as late as August. Okay. So it's kind of like a summer, like over the summer. Um, hold on. Okay, paranormal... And then break time, because I'm going to be chatting for another 30 minutes, and then it's just going to be the end of stream before I know it and never took a break. Paranormal decorations. Oh, wait, is it debug? Don't I have to turn debug on for it, Rose? Or maybe I don't. I remember we've, we've looked for this object when we were doing the Hooper's general store. Yeah. These, right? Love these. I kind of want to do like a few and a couple different like swatches. Yeah, I want to do like two of them. Got them. Got them. Vegas does June too. Seattle celebrates year round. I love that. I love that. Um, okay. I am doing the potty dance. It's time for a break. Let me save. Oh, this is looking so cute it's perfect and it's not over cluttered so for gameplay we'll be able to navigate around pretty good plenty of places for wyatt to read some books meet up with the wealthy affluent people um i think we can call it done honestly there's like some cluttering and some decor on the walls but i think we'll just call it done and we'll decide what we're gonna do next when i come back Cause we can always add little details to it as we play, but it's good enough. Good enough. You say they are boiled sweets. The green ones are mint. I love that. List of chaos. Okay. Let's take a break. Let me get the music. Um, 
actually do you guys just want to want me to have i'll put our normal music on i'll put the normal music on it and then we'll come back to this one okay i'm gonna shut up see you guys in a second listen you might have to go okay lovely good night if i don't see you after break i hope you have a good night i'll be back on tomorrow so i don't know what you got going this weekend but if i don't see you tomorrow have a good weekend okay brb
my gosh, look at all the emotes. Oh my God, I'm still scrolling. Look at all of those emotes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Andrew, you're having your midnight 9 p.m. snack cereal. I love it. Love it. Lister, you're here till dinner. Yay. I have a little snack here. I've got my water. I got some more water. Lista, we are in the same time zone. I knew me and Monica were, so that makes sense that you are too. Look at all those chickens. I used to have, I had that sound on my alerts for a hot minute. I want to get some new alerts. I want to get some that are not tied to channel points that are tied to um, sub commands. So then you guys can just do like exclamation point and like I'll have a list of like what they are. So I want to set some of those up. I've been like poking around to do some stream stuff this week. And now that I'm getting back to posting on YouTube, I've got to get like a schedule for myself. Um, okay, I started working on a desk area. I, um, I'm playing around with some bookshelves that I want to be like, just trying to find the swatch I want to use. Ooh, I kind of... I kind of want to do like a little desk hidden right here. So I'm trying to find the combination that I like. We'll just pick right back and then, and then we're done. And then we're done with this build. But Rose said a place to write. And I think this one, it would be just nice if we don't have to travel to like a hundred lots. Cause we're not going to spend like a ton of time with, um, with Wyatt at uni. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to hide this one. I'd like the color of the books. I like the color of the books. Let's see. Anku, thank you, thank you, thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. If you didn't get a good stretch on break, definitely, definitely get one now. I'm guilty a lot of times of not taking a break when there are breaks and judging by the amount of emotes that were in chat when I came back. I don't think too many of you guys got took a stretch or got some water. So if you didn't, if you didn't hydrate or stretch during break, now is your time. Now is your time. You hate that snapping placement it tries to do. Yeah, okay, is this gonna mess up? Oh, 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 I didn't realize this was happening. I didn't realize that was happening. Okay, we gotta pull it, pull it. Okay, I'll pick a different one because that one's snapping. Okay, the first one that I originally pulled out Cause now I don't wanna, I don't wanna glitch into the stairs and make the stairs not usable. So let me maybe try, I might switch the disc. Let me see. I don't know. I'm just doing a weird little thing. It's not gonna look a hundred percent amazing. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Becca, you never take a break. You bob your head to the tunes. I love it. May need to test that the Sims can still go up and down the stairs there, so silly. Exactly. I was thinking so too. I think as long as I don't put it all the way into the stairs, I should be fine. But the more I pull it out, the more it defeats the purpose because I'm just trying to kind of fill in that gap so it's not like, like just a huge gap. I kind of want these stairs to be black. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to change them to this one. Um, and then the banisters, because I know it kind of had, like, it had, like, the... Also, anybody who came in later in stream, I did not build this. We just decorated it. We got it from the gallery, and then we kind of were giving it, like, a, um, a decades, a decades makeover. And then just adding the things specifically that I need for wyatt's storyline so i think we've pretty much got most of the stuff that we will need once we add the typewriter we almost don't even have to go to the other lots i do still want to go to the commons lot oh that one doesn't have a black swatch i know there's another these are my favorite banisters the the ones that are on there right now they're the ones from actually are those i don't even know if those are my favorite ones my favorite ones are the strangerville um 
Such a cute under stairs setup. I've done a couple things under stairs when I don't. I thought there were two swatches of this, but I'm not seeing the other one. Why is this? Oh, <laughs> I'm not in the right category. I was in the fence category. Whoopsies. They really did like iron stuff in. I need black. Ooh, let's do that one. Let's do this one. That one matches and it looks, it looks nice. Where's the other stair? Here you are. Okay, let's do you. I love the little detail on that. Love it, love it. And now I just need to match the, the fence over here. Okay, what is this? This is growing together. I, oh no, sorry, for rent. I Oh, ooh, this is new. I love this. Iron Tomarani. Tomar. Where is the matching? Here you are. Beautiful. Amazing. Stunning. Perfect. I think this plant seems a little bit out of place. Okay. Oh, I missed a I missed a curtain over here. <laughs> exactly, Rose. You do that all the time, especially with foundation paint uh, for platforms. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the moral support. Okay, so now let's make the desk work, and then I think we're done. I actually really quite enjoyed building this like we kind of just we took our time we had some story time um vibe time aria you're still vibing i love it uh okay we got a couple desk options oh let me just filter by just because, let's set filter by black. See what my... Okay, you're a little too... I love this one, but tell me if you hate this. Okay, I love this desk from Discover University. Love it, love it, love it. It looks very stunning in like the, this dark brown swatch. Absolutely stunning. What drives me crazy is when you place a computer on it. Let me just grab like a, a like a regular computer. It like hangs off the edge because of the little cutout. It like doesn't work very well with a computer and it's so annoying because it's such a nice desk. Rose, you're eating leftover Domino's. First of all, I love that you guys also have Domino's pizza. Um, that's usually what I order here. I always just get the two topping deal. What kind, what kind of pizza is it, Rose? What kind of pizza are you having? Because they have not factored in the placement. Yup. Yup. It drives me crazy because I love that desk. So I only use it if I'm using it in an office that doesn't have like a computer or a typewriter usually. Ooh, 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 I think this is going to be the one. I think this might be the one. But can I just... Oh, that bookshelf was kind of weird because of the shelves. But I think that might work. I really like this desk. I'm just, like, seeing where it... I can I could see past it. Let me see. Let's put this stuff on it. And I figured we needed a red lamp upstairs because we didn't have a red lamp up here. It, it doesn't really bother me. Like, if you really stare at it, there's obviously a lot of imperfections and things that, like, it doesn't look built in or anything. But it's the perfect little nook that I want for a little Wyatt. Let me go into tab mode. Maybe I'll even put a little, a little stack of books for him. Should we put, give him a little stack of books? Um, let's just grab those same ones we used downstairs just for some consistency. Meat lovers with chicken and barbecue sauce. Yum. 
and then maybe a different swatch ooh, 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 yeah 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 and then maybe smaller we've got some smaller books up here there we go okay what about um guys when did we stop writing with a quill does anybody know the facts on that <laughs> there looks very scholarly oh and some scattered books on the long table yeah because i wanted to put um some stuff over here maybe some like fancy looking books and ooh, what is this oh it's got sunglasses on it Um, let's see if anything else catches our eye. They're just so very large. But I like that they've got, like, the same vibe. No, you're the one I already used. I don't know, something like that. But I feel like these two need to switch. I don't know, something like that? Is that fine? Is that fine? It's good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's see. 19th century, mid 1800s. The typewriter wasn't invented until 1868. And prior to that, they started to use pens because then they switched to steel pen points. Because I think this was during the time, yeah, they had the pens that were like, they're like very expensive nowadays. Like, what are those pens called? Like water. Not waterfall. What is... <laughs> Hold on. Fountain pens. I like how I was like waterfall. My brain, the word association on that. Like fountain pens, like the, the ink like drips down them and it's like a still point. That's kind of what they were using at this time. But we're still going to put a little quill on the desk. Lista, I have spaghetti too. I have like pasta on, on the side of me that I need to eat. I um, But it's fine. We'll put a quill for the aesthetics. For the vibes. For the vibes. Okay, save. Perfecto. Um, I kind of want to see if I don't... Okay, I saw Devin Bumpkin size these up and they looked absolutely stunning in his castle build let's see do i just want to do one right there like that just to bring the color in i think i do just for like the color and then maybe upstairs we'll do it here but this one maybe we can fit a middle piece let's see i don't know let's just let's just it might look weird because the do, 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 do. I'm just very much in a let's just see what happens kind of a mood today. And maybe I center you. I know now we've got two different vibes with the rugs, but I don't care. I don't care. Why it can have a typewriter? Well, it is 1877, so, or 1878, so there would be a type, like the typewriter was invented. I remember when we put them in the library, we double checked. Um, what if one final item, a matching sofa right here, a cozy little area. There's like a whole house up here. There's a sofa. If you just want a vibe, there's a table where he can meet up with some people, a little 
private meeting area, a little area where he likes to come right. This is the place to be. Um, wait, who was talking about historical CC in a recent video? Okay, what do we think? I think it's done. Bye, Lista! Yes! Oh my gosh, your first stream was amazing. A dream come true. I love that for you. Have a good night. Sending so much love. Devin was? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go catch up. I'm a little bit behind on YouTube. Okay, I think she's done. I think she's done. Uh-oh. I left a modern light in here. I left a modern light. Let's get the small... I didn't check the bathroom. I never, I didn't really check in here. I'm just gonna leave the toilet. I'm gonna get rid of this chair because I don't want my Sims randomly coming try to sit in the bathroom. And other than that, I'm just gonna leave it as it is because um, they just need a bathroom, so it's fine. Is this an area that they can come out to? No. I also changed these to red on the exterior while we were on break. Oh, these outside chairs. I'm just gonna leave them. Wait, what is this entrance? Oh, we have a little side entrance. I guess I realized there was a door inside, but I didn't really like think much of it. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Red. Is there any on the back side? Oh, nope. You need to go. You need to go. We're done. Now Wyatt has a little cafe book hangout. There's technically a third floor up here. Um, but honestly, we're not going to come up here really. So let me just, um, okay, good. There's another toilet that they can use. I was wondering, I was like, that's like a, there's not a lot of bathrooms. So there is a third bathroom. I mean, a second bathroom if they need it. So I'll just copy paste. I hate these candles so much. Let me get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh, look, there was a desk up here. I'm basically just going to make it to where the Sims don't want to come up here unless they're going to the bathroom. Um, so they won't really route up here very much. So I'm just going to take away in-game objects. Come up here if you want, but there's nothing to do and there's no lights. Because I do like the way the stairs look, because that's where we just made the desk downstairs. So I don't want to just like get rid of the stairs or anything. Why did they seem so close together all of a sudden? Oh, because you're in the wrong place. Okay. But I mean, even though I still have to put the curtains because I am the way that I am. Okay. And then in case we decide to add something later, we've got this extra f f space. A seance room. Ooh. They gave up on the top floor. I'll put the big... I'll put this up here just so it's there if I decide to add something up here. Maybe I'll just leave the... Maybe I'll leave the fireplace in case I don't... So I don't have to, like, find it later. They might route to try to like stand in front of the fire. This could be a banquet space. If we need a banquet space for anything, if we do, we could set up banquet tables up here. This is like the private event space, but it's just not set up right now. That's what it is. That is what it is. What's above the fireplace downstairs? I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm giving, I'm, oh, these pictures. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget. Oh, sorry, I just hit my mic. Okay, so yeah, now we've got an area for any events that we need. A debate space for where they gather for political rallies. Let's just plop that in. Let's just plop it in. Is that under knowledge? Yes, it is. Why don't we set it up where like the front is over yonder? And why don't we just set up some of these chairs? Now I kind of want to get rid of the fireplace. Ooh. 
Put you there. Okay, you are visually in my way. What if we just do something like this? Okay, you can come back now. I keep being like, we're done, we're not done, we're done, we're done. Have the chairs not in the heat line? The chairs should be, they should be okay. As long as they're more than a, a full tile, we can come in one more maybe. Now there, it's a little more crowded to the rug than I wanted it to be, but I'd rather that than setting the whole place on fire. Maybe that would explain why there's nothing upstairs because <laughs> the great fire of 1878 at Brightchester University. And then I would like a photo of Mr. and Mrs. Darby on the wall. You know, maybe they were great benefactors of the Black Rose Cafe. We'll make their photos a little a little smaller and let's maybe not be so bright Alrighty, we have a little debate room um being a bit of a radical starting a newspaper he would have mixed with the radical thinkers of the time that gives me some ideas of some sims i want to create rose because i was struggling with like who to put in the save so i think wyatt is interacting yeah with a mix of like highly affluent people and also like rebel rousers if that makes sense um so are these chairs okay now that we're looking at it from like this angle do we think that they're okay or nah or should i go like up a little on row one i don't know i don't know i don't want to burn the place down uh jack savior welcome and thank you for the follow um right now i am in brightchester we're doing our, the main world that I'm using for this decade challenge is Chestnut Ridge that came with Horse Nut, Horse, Horse Nut, that came with Horse Nut, Horse Ranch. Um, but one of our Sims has gone to university and we're moving into the Gilded Age. So we're using Brightchester because it has a very sort of late 1800s kind of a vibe, especially if you get the right build style. So I've downloaded some builds from the gallery. I've got these two houses over here are from the gallery they're very victorian victorian-esque and then now i just got this library i mean this cafe from the gallery but we're decorating the interior oh my god please tell me there's not another there's technically another level you guys if you wanted a fourth level they are fine they shouldn't burn shouldn't shouldn't being the operative word there what if, hold on, I did like that this is in front of the windows, but what if we went in front of the windows here? What, what if we were just, this is closer to the stairs. I do not want any college students burned in the making of this debate space. I, I wanna be for certain that my children are not going to burn to death. We don't want like a great Chicago fire, or, like that, whatever happened. Let's just better. Oh, you're not centered. Wait, you're coming there. Let's just be on the safe side. Let's just be on the safe side. Annie, you did miss a good combo earlier. Did Becca, did Becca, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Did Becca tell you? There was a, there was a way that I was going to say that, but I... Did Becca pass on the news? We had tea time with Shay earlier today. I don't know. I'm sp I've been spilling all my secrets on stream the last few streams. I feel like we need, like... We need, like, something. Something here in this corner. Like a space to sign petitions? Let's make it storytelling. Let's make it storytelling. Let's go... Let's put... Let's, well, you're not gonna... We're not gonna be able to place stuff on you, I think, actually. Oh, actually, can we? I, yeah, actually, we can. Where's that journal? I want that black journal. This is gonna be a pain. Let me get rid of custom content. She gave you the scoop. We're going to Pride this summer, Annie. You're coming. You and Becker are coming to Denver. And we're going to Pride. It's, it's done. It's planned. It's happening. Can't change my mind. Yeah, the open book. I'm gonna get rid of custom content so I can try to find it faster. It's usually towards the end. Because I use the hell out of this object, let me tell you. It's usually more this way. Or at least I tend to scroll from the bottom. It might not actually be. Okay, tell me if I missed it already. Because I do tend to scroll quickly. Here, let's just grab... Grab these bad boys. Just put a, oh, I think we need another red lamp up here. Floor 3 doesn't have a red lamp yet. Okay, we'll just go brown on the books. Oh my god, you guys move... Oh wait, hold on. Four days after Pride. Okay, but okay, I'll come to your Pride then. New plan. New plan. New plan. I'm coming to your Pride. That'll work. That'll work. I'm down. I'm inviting myself. And you can't turn me away. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yay! Oh, I found it! The book was at the very end! I found it! I found it, I found it, I found it! Thank you for the bits! Gave it! I love it! Oh my god, how am how have I never... Hold on. I got to click on the bits thing. Oh, it says I can't cheer for my own channel. I don't have to cheer. I just want to see the options. I feel like... I think I have seen the pride fag on there. Maybe I'm just blind. Um, We need a red lamp. Every floor has a red lamp. Red lamp. And then I think we're actually done. But I think I'm going to be glad... Ugh, this thing does not snap very well. Um here and then i'm gonna have to tool mod you just down a few clicks minus 0.03 because you're always oop you might have been 0.05 off actually yeah you were a minus 0.05 okay sign the petition whoopsies Yeah, maybe we get Wyatt into a little bit of debate. Or even if he doesn't do the debate, like some kids that he's with. Okay, now I'm actually excited to play with him. See, this is why I was like, we need to take some time to, um, to like get up some places like set up for him. And maybe just in that corner, we'll just put another one of these just for, just for some ambiance. I do feel like it's a little dark in that corner. But, you know, it was the 1800s, so what can I say? There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. Stairs are kind of dark. Oh, it won't let me, like, hang it from the ceiling. That's really annoying. Like, I can't put it at the highest level. Like, whatever. The stairs can have... Um, don't we have some candle sconces? Ooh, these look kind of cool. I like you. Yeah, I've never used you before, so... I'll leave that one out, because I think if I put one there, it might mess up them walking up the wall, but that one will definitely be okay. Um, 
Your family's driven through Fort Collins to get to Cannon City for a family reunion. That's so cool. I can't remember if I went there for softball tournament. I've just always been familiar with it because of Pretty Lights. Pretty Lights was from Fort Collins. So even before I lived here, I knew about Fort Collins. Do I have this where they will be able to... We'll move it up one click. I think we should be good. Okay. We're done! Yay! The banister needs... To oh, oh, thanks, Rose. Jeez, my attention to detail? Not, not on point today. Not on point. Thank you, Rose. Got it. Anything else I missed? I feel like... Why is this brown? Is that... What object is that? Is that... Is that platform trim? I don't think it is. What? Rose, if you know what I can do to make that not brown, I'll change it. But otherwise, I'll just look past it. I was going to leave the brick inside of the fireplace. Is that what you're talking about? On the outside. On the outside. It's trim. Click on the wall. Okay. So it's this one. That one's not doing it. I'm trying to see. Or is it? It's not this one. It's not that. I'm like, what is that? I've never... Oh, this one? This? I did see of the trees this new... Uh, oh, wait. I have not seen... Well, I read the lineups very quickly. I read the lineups very quickly, and now I already forgot what they were. I haven't decided if I'm going. I went last year, which I think you went last year, too, so we were technically both there. I almost read uh, Wore My Of The Trees beanie on stream two days ago because I was having a really rough hair day. You already got tickets. Oh my God, maybe I should just get tickets then. Did it sell out? Did it sell out? Because I didn't even pay attention. I got the pre-sale code and then I was just like, eh, I don't know, that's so far away. I'm just going to leave it. I don't know what the heck is happening and I honestly, I can't see it. So it's fine. It's just fine. We're done. We're done. I could decorate this a little bit. But maybe, oh, because I was saying that corner was so dark, I can be like, I'm done. We're not done. We're done. Let me just put a, let me just do this because then that'll pull some light over to this side. Maybe I'll just put it in the middle. Just, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of blank, but that's fine. <gasps> it's on your birthday. Of course you had to. Last year, Ganja White Night was on my birthday and best show hands down that I went to last year, hands down down it was so good so good we're not done with the cafe yet andrew are we done i think we're done i think we're done i think we're done unless you have a it, last call last call i think we're done you had tickets to that and didn't end up going it was amazing it was so good it was so good let's just say i couldn't get up from my seat but i had a great time okay it was so fun. Oh, Rose, I uh, have two options on freezes and exteriors. The freezes are what go on the top of the exterior walls. Yeah, you think well, that's what they're using to get that? I'll have to, I, it's not bothering me enough to try to figure it out. Katie Cakes, your soul runs on live music. Same. I'm going to, does anybody know who Trip Street is? I'm going to Trip Street tomorrow night at Ogden. <gasps> Jocelyn, you're going to Bonnaroo this year? I haven't been to Bonnaroo yet. I actually haven't been to that one. Wobbly on the rocks, yep. The one on the stairs is the exterior wall trim. See, I tried that. I tried it, and it wasn't... Oh, you know what? I actually think I didn't. I think I meant to click on this, and it didn't, it, it didn't actually select it. 
where was that here yep that was it that was it we got it rose we did it oh god my voice cracked we did it we did it we did it now we are complete we did it yay good work team this is gonna be fun to come to with him in 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 uni And what if this place is a little bit progressive? Because we've got the the we've got like the debate area upstairs, and maybe this is where Wyatt can have a little bit of a rendezvous with his his lover. Maybe they do a little bit of canoodling over here off in the corner. It makes me want to put a room divider. Yeah, like an 18, an 18, 1880s queer, 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 like gay bar, gay cafe, little gay cafe. Can we put a little divider? But then in gameplay, we wouldn't be able to see them. So let's just pretend there's a little divider. Oh my God, Pretty Lights is going to be at Bonnaroo. I'm still kicking myself that I did not go to Pretty Lights when he was here last summer or whatever, like whatever time period that was, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't go. So mad. It's not secluded at all in any way. I know, can we pretend? Can we pretend? Can I see? I promise we're almost done. Are we vibing? I promise we're almost done. What would these look like? What would they look like from the other side? Sometimes I like how they look when you... Hold on. Isn't there a longer swatch? Or is that the... I think uh, they might only be one length. Yeah, I think they're one length but different widths is what they are okay what about you i'm trying to make a canoodling area area okay i don't think i have this in a swatch oh oh we have red we have red that kind of is a vibe It's kind of a vibe. We do a little bit of smooching back here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I can see it. I can see it. I feel like there needs to be a vintage teapot on that. Rose, help me. Is it clutter? I don't think it's functional. But there's like a like Moroccan tea set. That's what we need. Vibe for sure. See, this is why you just, you know, you think it's done, but there's finishing touches sometimes. You have to perfect it. It's because I've got the gameplay in my head. So I'm like, ooh, what do I want for the gameplay? Come here. Ooh, actually, this wasn't the one I was thinking, but this is the one that I now want. Okay, they've got a little teapot. Maybe we should put one of these over here as well for some extra decor. Yeah, a little teapot back there. It's very decades. Very decades. Becca, you do like watching building. I notice you're a lot chattier in chat during build streams than gameplay streams. I have noticed that. Do we put an urn? <laughs> it's a cookie jar. It's a cookie jar. It's not an urn. It's a cookie jar. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, I think we're done now. I'm very, I'm very pleased. Very, very happy. Oh, now I want to bring him here on a secret date with Mr. Darby. Here she is. Thank you to the wonderful creator. Um, who was the wonderful creator? I'm going to add it to my gallery or save it to my library. Here we go. Simprehend. Save to my library so I can find it later to give credit where credit is due. It was a lovely building. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely building. It says, originally considered the main university bookstore, Brightchester Books and Cafe now primarily focused on the cafe bit as book sales are ever dropping in Brightchester. Known to the locals as the Nerd Cafe, it has also become the unofficial hangout spot for the robot makers because there was robot stuff on the top floor before I redid it. So ours is called the Black Rose Cafe owned by the infamous Darby family of Brightchester. They own everything. They own this whole town. Oh God. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Do you guys remember when we visited Brightchester when uh, we stayed over at that house? Do you guys remember when Wyatt came down here? He came down here and had a little ponder about his future life. This was his little spot. So it makes sense that he would love the little bookshop because we're going to say it was here when he came. He had a little pop in he loves it. It's his little spot. So yay, Wyatt has a spot now. Should we have put live music in there somewhere? <laughs> now I'm like having second thoughts. Okay, we can always add music later. We can always add music later. Okay, good. So now we have a bookshop. I'm going to create some sims to be in a group with him that that are like progressive. Like they're laboring for, I don't know, progressive things of the era. I'll have to think what those things are. Have to read up on my politics of the 1880s. Um, there's the pub that I think we probably won't go to because it's not pulling a um, barista. I will put a sim in the group that I can control as a barista in a worst case scenario if one does not populate in the cafe because I would like that better anyway. Um, save my build to my library. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back and do that. Good call. Maybe Darby is the mayor of Brychester. Yeah, they're definitely something. They are something. Let me save this to my library, the Black Rose Cafe. Save. Just in case. I don't want to stare to the gallery because it's another creators, but... There's a mod to assign sims to NPC roles. I actually have that mod. The bigger problem is I'm still having issues with the with the vendors not showing up at all. So even if they're assigned, they're just like not populating in this save file. We we fixed it. Maybe it was like my main save file. I think it's fixed. They populate. Yeah, they are because I played yesterday at my main save and the bartenders did show up. It's this save. So I've got something going on here. <gasps> Anne wants to watch me make the bar barista if I do. There's a mod to, oh yeah, I just read that one. Um, yeah, so I've got to figure it out because you know how we were having that glitch for a while? So I added you guys a sim. So it, people who weren't here at the beginning, we added some townies, two very affluent families here in the Victorian houses and they're intermingled they run a business together so they're intermingled and then um oh i never added the oil family because in my mind i kind of want to add the family that used to be farmers but got rich do i want to add them to chestnut ridge they remind me of the beverly hillbilly story i don't really have anywhere else to put them in chestnut I do want to add them somewhere. So I might add them. I wish I had one more lot. Because Darby's family is going to go here. And this is going to be Darby's Den. And I'm going to rename this one to be Darby's, like Darby House or something like that. Or Darby Estate. Darby Estate. This is going to be Darby Estate. And I'm going to make his family... Darby's Den, Darby Estate, the Black Rose Cafe by the Darby's. <laughs> what is the library? Laurel Library? It should be like <laughs> Darby, Darby Library. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just wait until the farmers are hit with the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl. I could add them to cottage living. That's a good point. Because I do feel like we should move out. I want to move out of Chestnut at some point. So probably like the late 1800s. 
You're already sad about the Great Depression. I know. I know. It's probably going to be Jin 3 or 4 that goes through the Great Depression. Yeah, everything at Bright Chester is by the Darby's. Okay, I'm going to call this done minus making the Sims. Good work today. Tomorrow... I might try... Mm, I'm trying to decide. I'm like, do I want to make Sims on stream? Because it is fun when we flesh out the characters together. I might make a few off cam and save like... Save a few. The only place in Chestnut Ridge is up near the canyons. I think Monica built the park there. But yeah, we don't visit it much. Um... The other world that we need to work on. So next up on preparing for the Gilded Age. Um, I want to replace. Oh, God, where did it go? Oh, I forgot I had to rebuild my save file. I'm going to put a new saloon on this slot. Um, Rose, since we already used eight bills in Chestnut Ridge, since it technically belonged here. I'm going to find a different one because what I want to happen, Chestnut Ridge, Eli and Lucy are going to first perform here in Chestnut Ridge. We've already created the, the talent scout, if you will, who is going to discover them. And then they're going to get booked to play at different locations. So then I want them to travel next to Strangerville. And they're going to travel to the saloon here. I think I want to have them like stay with the local family. So I want to put at least like one bill down with the local family. They, they like get put up at a place. If not, it'll just have rooms above that they stay in. So they'll perform here. Then eventually they are going to travel to Brychester, which is perfect because we can actually, where the heck is Brychester? Nope, that you're evergreen. Then they start to really get big and they start playing more in cities. And that's when they're going to come and play in Brychester. And Wyatt is going to get to see them. And I think it would be perfect to have them play at the Black Rose Cafe. We can set up a little spot for them to perform at the Black Rose Cafe. Uh, maybe up on the third floor or something. And then um, I don't know how it's going to work, but I eventually... I think I want Eli and Lucy and Wyatt all living in a very big Gilded Age style house. Like, ideally their own houses, but I don't know. Maybe they live together because it wasn't uncommon for families to, like, live together. Um, and I'm not sure where we're going to build their house slash houses, but I think they both get wealthy. Wyatt's wealthy. I was thinking Spice District, too. I was debating Spice District. I was worried, like, is that going to really, like, interfere with immersion? Because there's, like, stuff that's going to populate that I'm not going to be able to control. But I do think, overall, that is the best vibe. The best vibe might be Spice District. Because if not, I was, like... New Crest, but then it's got all the big like skyscrapers in the background, but then Soda Sand, my Shuno. We might just have to use our imagination a little bit. I do think the Spice District would be good. I do think it would be good. Um, and maybe we build two on the 30 by 30 lot. We build like honestly, Devin Bumpkin already has a set of brownstones that are really nice, and there's a couple other creators. Like, we could do the same thing where, like, as long as the shell is created, then we could do the interior together. Because I just get overwhelmed by, like, this, that kind of exterior. Um, but that's down the line. That's going to be, like, as their kids get, getting older and we see how wealthy they, like, truly get. But that's my plan. I think Josie is going to take over the farm. I think Josie will take over the farm. What if the local family in Strangerville has a toddler and Lucy and Eli see that and they want to have a kid then? Yeah, because I'm trying to decide when they'll have kids because they're going to be traveling a lot. So they might put off kids for a little while or I might just let it happen whenever it happens based on her fertility. Like I'll just let them like autonomously woohoo and we just whatever happens, happens. Um, 
The naysayers can zip it. We are playing with our dolls and we are imagining our world. Yes. Yes. You just placed Devin's brownstone. I love it. Don't you love it? Did you redecorate it, Rose? Or are you using it um, with the type of characters that like he created for it? Like Louisiana or Savannah has Willow Creek. So is the family going to live in different worlds in the future? Yeah, we'll be traveling to different worlds throughout time, like getting more and more modern. Okay, I'm going to save. I think this is a good place to stop for the evening um thanks for prepping with me guys it ended up i did chill out i was like feeling very jittery from my espresso when stream started and i'm feeling so calm and collected now a little redecoration mostly just as he imagined it i love that i that was was that the first build that he did when he started San Myshuno? I can't remember, but it was one of the first. He definitely started in the Spice District. Um, I love it. Maybe they can live in the growing together world when we enter the 50s for suburbia. I feel like the 50s and the 60s are going to be the best in Oasis Springs because it's already got like a diner vibe with the like the mid-century diner vibe so i think oasis springs will be the 50s and the 60s i think san sequoia is going to be like the most modern one one of the most modern like when we start getting to like the 2000s i think it's going to like close out with san sequoia we have to have a poodle skirt i know i want to start playing faster i want to start playing faster so we can get through this um, but at this rate, you know, we're going to be here for five years, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. Let me see who's on. If we're going to do a raid. Beckaboo. I couldn't remember. Oh yeah. Yesterday was Beckaboo's day off. Yesterday was Beckaboo's. Um, so we'll go over unless anyone has any suggestions. We've ra we, we, we raid Beckaboo a lot just because she just happens to be who's on when I'm ending in our little lovely community. But also you guys probably follow people that I don't know. And so if there's anyone that you guys suggest that you know and love and would be a good vibe for our community, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just, we'll go over to, uh, to Beckaboo. Kyler is also on. Kyler doesn't play Sims, but Kyler is a lovely member of our community through some odd reason. I don't know who ended up in... I don't know. I don't even remember how we found Kyler. He, like, ended up in Becca's stream or Becca ended up in his stream. I don't know. But Becca... Do, I mean, Kyler's streams are kind of... Um, I love them. They're super fun. Um, but I feel like right now I've gotten us on this, like, cozy grounded level and his are very, like, Rah! like, very loud and lots going on. Um, so maybe we will save it for another time. Is he through Jess? I thought he was through Beckaboo. Beckaboo and um, Honeybugs. Jen. I think actually Jen might have knew him before Becca, and then Jen brought him to Becca. Anyways, that's how we know Kyler. Um, but yeah, we can just go over to Beckaboo. That's where I go after stream anyway. We can just go over because she is... What is she doing? 100 Babies. Oh yeah, she said she was back to 100 Babies. She just started with her new air. The second air. So we'll go over there. Becca Boo. But we'll be back tomorrow. I might... Tomorrow's... We might end early. It depends. I might be going to a concert. Um, I should go to the concert just because I haven't been out in a while. I'm a little nervous because I'd be going by myself. I bought the tickets because I thought I would be going with my friends. But then I found out they were selling the tickets because they're not going. But maybe I should just go out. If I do, I'm going to be messaging you guys in Discord for, like, safety. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm going out on my own. Somebody please check on me. Um, I've never been out alone in Denver. I would be more comfortable if it was Houston because I know that city so well. But I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I might. So we might end early tomorrow. Yeah, Ogden is great. And Trip Street, I love Trip Street. I've seen him, like, three or four times. So I'm excited. All right, guys, let me get the raid message up because I'm just chatty Kathy today. And then we'll go over and say hello to Beckaboo. I've lived here since September 2022. So this past September was a year and then however many months it's been since that. So like a year and a half almost. I love it. I'm never leaving. I mean, I can't say never, but I'm going to be here for a while. 
Um, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Thank you guys. Thank you for amazing stream for being your lovely selves. And if I don't see you tomorrow, have a wonderful weekend. Bye.